This video is covering the carbon cycle and it's geared towards leaving SERP biology revision. This is an updated version, a little bit faster than the previous video. So the carbon cycle is part of nutrient recycling. It's a part of ecology. So it's important to know and to understand what nutrient recycling is. It's the way in which elements are continuously exchanged between the living and the non-living parts of the ecosystem. So for our course, we have to learn about nitrogen and carbon. In this video, we'll just deal with the carbon cycle. So it's important to start at the beginning. What is the carbon cycle? It's the continual recycling of carbon for reuse. It's important to know why this is necessary. This cycle is important because there is a limited or a finite supply of this element. There's only a certain amount of carbon, so it has to constantly be recycled. And carbon is essential for life. All biomolecules contain carbon and the main source of carbon is from the atmosphere. So basically, carbon is an essential element. All biomolecules contain it. There's only a limited supply and therefore it has to constantly be recycled. For your exam, you must be able to give an account of the carbon cycle. And the best place to start is with a picture. If you understand what's happening in the picture, well, then you can fill in any flow diagrams. So carbon is mostly found as carbon dioxide in the atmosphere and carbon dioxide is removed from the atmosphere through the process of photosynthesis. In photosynthesis, the carbon dioxide is converted into the carbohydrate glucose. So the carbon was removed from the atmosphere and becomes part of the plant. And this gets passed along the food chain because other animals will eat the plants and other animals will eat those animals. All living things respire. So both plants and animals respire. And this means that carbon is returned to the atmosphere in the form of carbon dioxide through the process of respiration. Decomposers play a very important role in the carbon cycle. They're breaking down all of that organic matter that contains carbon and returning it back to the environment. However, sometimes there is incomplete decomposition and this results eventually in the formation of fossil fuels. But remember that decomposers are living organisms and so they too respire. Combustion of fossil fuels is another way in which carbon is released or returned back to the atmosphere in the form of carbon dioxide. When volcanoes erupt, this releases a lot of carbon dioxide back into the atmosphere. So carbon in this way is being returned as part of the cycle. The oceans play a hugely significant role in the carbon cycle. A lot of carbon dioxide from the atmosphere gets dissolved in the oceans. Some of this carbon dioxide is used in the process of photosynthesis. These microscopic organisms known as phytoplankton photosynthesize. The phytoplankton will be eaten or consumed by other organisms and so the carbon gets passed along the food chain. In some cases, this carbon is used to form coral and shells. And these in turn go on to form sedimentary rock like limestone, trapping carbon. It's important to remember that there is respiration carried out in the oceans as well. So all these living creatures respire, releasing carbon dioxide, some of which will make its way back to the atmosphere. So in this way, it's returning carbon to the atmosphere. There are not too many questions on the carbon cycle in the past papers, but those questions that are often tricky are those that have flow charts or flow diagrams. So it's important to have a practice at those. So maybe pause the video and see if you can draw a version of this and describe what's happening. What's removing carbon in the form of carbon dioxide? It's mostly photosynthesis on land and in the oceans, but there's also CO2 being dissolved in the oceans as well. What is returning carbon in the form of carbon dioxide? Respiration by both plants and animals, and this takes place in the oceans as well. The formation of fossil fuels locks a lot of carbon away, but when this is burned or combustion occurs, this releases the carbon in the form of carbon dioxide. You also have the weathering of those sedimentary rocks like limestone. So all of this is important. See if you can follow the diagram and fill in the processes. So just for comparison, this is the 2013 ordinary level question on the carbon cycle. The labels in red were given on the paper and you had to complete the empty boxes, which are the yellow boxes in this case. So you can see photosynthesis, respiration, combustion and then decay and eaten by are the missing labels in this case. So quite easy. So there you have it. That was the carbon cycle. Really worth your while learning ecology because it's going to be on your paper in June. Spend time doing all the questions. All of the pictures were made using icons from the Noun Project. Best of luck with all of that revision.